This is my story of my encounter with this green cheek canure that you will find and you will see it in the video in a second. However, I believe there are a lot of lessons we can learn from this encounter. I found this green cheek canure, but this actually could be for any type of parrot you might find yourself have to interact with. So, let's see what to do when you catch or you find a lost parrot. The video you are about to see in a second, it happened actually when I first arrived because my relatives called me. They actually didn't know which type of parrot they found, but they called me to come and help them. You, what you will find, you will see that there is a something that they, they just put something on the parrot to keep it from escaping or because they do have a cat, they have a lot of cats, I believe, in their backyard, so they don't want them to attack the parrot. Anyway, let's dive into the video and see what can we learn if this situation ever happened with us. Now, as you see, when I first arrived, I took the basket off the bird. In this situation, it is fine because the cats we've talked about aren't pet cats. Rather, they are cats that they feed and they are not comfortable next to people. So there is no danger of a cat attacking the bird because they won't approach anywhere next to me. And the second reason is that the bird doesn't fly for some reason, which is weird because how did it come in the first place? But now, after I am rewatching the video, I see it was a bad decision. Although you might think the bird can't fly, but that doesn't mean it can't fly. It could be it was just tired. So I don't recommend you to take the basket off this way, especially that you will see in a moment that the bird's wings aren't clipped. So. What I would suggest you to do is take the bird inside your house and before you take the basket off, make sure your home is bird proof. I will leave a link in the description for how to bird proof your house before letting a bird inside. Also, if you have any pets like cats or dogs and predatory pets, it is your responsibility to lock them in a room or somewhere where they can't reach the bird in any way. Now back to the video. You will see that they already have given the bird a bowl of water, which is good. Although you don't know anything about the bird, but water is something standard that all animals need. And after the bird flee from its owner, it is probably thirsty. Now, when you first want to approach the parrot, you need to watch your safety. By that I mean, look for any signs of aggression from the bird. You need to know if you can approach the bird safely before putting your hand. Bigger parrots can bring you a lot more harm than budgies. As much as you want to help the bird, always make sure it is safe to approach by reading any signs of aggression on the bird's body language. Like if the bird is opening its beak when you try to approach it. And also you can see if it closed its feather right tight to its body in a way that it is scared of you and it is also a sign of pre-attack by parrots. And also you can hear from the sound of the parrot if it's giving you any sounds of pre-attack sounds of parrots. Now since green cheek canures are medium sized parrots, I tried to offer the parrot budgie seed mix, maybe it can eat it. You will see even though I can see that green cheek canure is comfortable with me around, I still approach slowly and calmly. And actually, wait for the parrot to come to me rather than I come to it. Because I am waiting for it to feel safe. It is a way to provide the parrot with comfort and to show it that I don't mean harm. And one more point I would like to add. When you look after your safety, you want to look after your bird's safety as well. In no way, shape or form you bring the lost parrot anywhere near your already existing birds. Not only because the GCZ is way larger than budgies and can really harm them, even if you found a budgie, there is a quarantine period you have to look for before introducing it to your budgies. We have talked about quarantine and I will leave a link in the description if you want to know what and understand more about the quarantine period and what actions you need to take. Now after I took off the basket, I looked for any signs of injuries and thankfully I didn't see any injury. 
That could be a deadly threat and you might see that this happened in the dark. There aren't any vets that I could go to at the moment. So after assessing the situation, I was comfortable to approach it. And actually I was mentally ready in case I got bitten by the parrot. And that is important because if you have this possibility in your mind and the parrot could bit you, it won't be a surprise to you. And I can't stress enough how important this point is. Because if you are not ready, then you leave it to your instinct reflexes and that could be a disaster. You could hit the bird or I don't know what you can do. So make sure you are mentally ready to whatever is about to happen. If you are not ready or afraid, then I would recommend finding someone else to approach the parrot. And if there is no one around, just don't interact with it at all. Just give it the things you want to give the parrot from a distance. Now I don't have green cheek on your food. Fortunately, Budgie's food is edible by most parrots, unless they are really large enough that they can't even fit in their mouth or beak. However, since this parrot, the green cheek canure, seems really comfortable with me, I tried to offer veggies, since this is something all parrots can eat, no matter what type of parrot. So if you found yourself in a situation where the parrot is not eating the food you are trying to give it, it could be either because it is too afraid or scared from you and its surrounding, or because it just can't eat the budgies pellets or seed mix you have in your disposal. So you can always try to give the parrot different types of veggies you have in your home. While obviously veggies aren't the only nutrient the parrots need in its diet. But this could help you keep the parrot healthy and alive until the next day at least where you can go and purchase food for this specific type of parrot. And don't forget, you can try to offer the parrot different type of veggies. If the parrot didn't eat a carrot, for example, that doesn't mean it won't try something else. If you have any type of veggies, you can try and cycle around the veggies you have. Now the next thing you need to do is to try and put the parrot in a temporary cage. So you can either wait for your appointment with avian vet for a general checkup on the bird, or take it directly to the avian vet if there is an avian vet that is open at the time you found the parrot. The general rule is, the faster you get it to avian vet, the better. Because if there is something wrong with the parrot, you don't know how much time you have and if it is a serious or not. Now the next thing to do is ask anyone you know who owns birds if this is its parrot. If there is any breeders around you, your neighbors or even pet stores. Especially the way I am interacting with the parrot, you can see I had no doubt in mind this parrot belongs to someone. Look at how comfortable it is with people. You can go on social media as well and ask if anyone lost a parrot, or you might even already find someone that is looking for its parrot. I know a lot of people would be thinking, no way, I would keep the parrot and I will adopt it. But just try to think for a second. Have you ever lost a budgie? You know how much hurt it can cause and probably the owner of this GCC is worried a lot about it. Don't be selfish and try to find the owner. I'm pretty sure he would be worried like crazy. Now in the meantime, until you see what will happen and if you will find the owner, maybe you will be the one taking care and adopting this parrot. If you didn't find the owner, you need to go and educate yourself about the parrot. A simple search on Google or YouTube you will find a lot of information about how to take care of the specific type of parrot you found. If you don't know what type of parrot it is, you can post a picture in the Facebook group I have and for sure someone will tell you what type of parrot it is. And finally, if you can't take care of the parrot, the last thing you want to do is leave it in the wild. Because probably where you live, it is not suitable for this type of parrot to just live in the wild. So you might need to find a shelter or someone else to adopt the parrot if you can't take care of it for some reason. Now if you are wondering what happened at the end of this story of this video that I am showing you. Well, I did find the owner the next day and that parrot was actually tamed and comfortable with people as I expected. So luckily this story did have a happy ending and the owner was really appreciative for taking a good care of the parrot until we found him. If you like these type of videos, please let me know in the comment section below, where we dissect real life events. 
and we can see in different types of situations what we can do and if we ever found ourselves in such situation you can see how to interact with it what is good what is bad we will talk about different types of situations if you do have a video about any type of situation you found yourself in and you didn't know what to do you can actually send me the video and tell me a little bit about the backstory behind it and we can dissect it in the next video or future videos in these type of series keep your budgets healthy and keep yourself safe